This is an example quite literally closer to home. This is one of the more poor areas of Yangon. These people have suffered from the recent storms. They have to live next to ruined buildings and gar garbage dumps, whereas I have to live with English language books, British toys, American headphones, a Belgian backpack, Mexican boxing gloves. This is a clear example of the inequality in this country. <laughs> didn't have a proper training camp but he's showing now that he did have a good camp and he's caught Big Dash with the left hand Yuji Shimada's poised Big Dash is very durable but Ola and Son continues to rain down the punches My name is Carl, and I'm the Vice President of the Myanmar Yachting Federation. I have two SEA Games gold medals, in which I won in 2001 and 2013. I am also a close friend of Aula, in which we attended international school since third grade, and I'm also his acting manager. Why is Aula unique, or what makes Aula unique? I would have to say his character. His drive to become the best, to be a champion, his hard work, and his never give up attitude makes him different from many of the athletes I know. Aula will walk into a cage either to win or to die trying. And uh, that is really what makes him a champion. Outside of the cage. Well, in the Myanmar Yachting Federation, we always try to have as much local events as we can, in which we always invite local schools and universities to participate, because it's really important for students from various types of schools to compete in our sport. The second thing is to host international events. When you host international events, you get recognition from the government and the world, and it also promotes your sport. Social media is also a very good route, and to have a production team or a media team 
to uh, record the event, take video and make nice videos is also uh, an important way to improve viewership and financing. So, of course, our uh, league, you know, Malaysia League, cannot compare yet with uh, Thailand League, PNL League, and uh, Singapore League, and Malaysia League as well. Of course, so they have a lot of, I mean, enough infrastructure, a lot of facility, a lot of, you know, uh, support, and a lot of sponsor as well. At the moment, in our you know, Malaysia League, uh, let's say in, uh, only let's say about the uh, Amino One. I mean, one means a premier level in our national league. So there's uh, 12 clubs in I mean, one. Let's say in uh, Yamaha United, Yamaha United, Yernabo, uh, Zakai United, Shai United, so and so. But among the, these 12 clubs, we only have three clubs, I mean, yeah, has only homes, home stadium. So the rest of the four clubs, uh, like uh, Swagam United, GFA, like the Maguire FC as well, they don't have, uh, I mean, home stadium yet. So, is that so? We have to organize them their their home matches in uh, jungle, like a neutral ground. You know, for example, if we have to organize the match of uh, Swagger United versus Jungle uh, United, so we, we have to organize the neutral ground for them in Tuna Stadium or Alsa Stadium. If they don't have a home stadium. So we a little bit tough to organize the home, I mean, spectators, home piece spectator. For example, there's a very base in, uh, I mean, uh, must be based in Kenyan Ken state. So we cannot get uh, like a uh, Kenyan supporter seat. Only a few people can, can come and watch. So that is why uh, this is uh, one of the difficulties for us. Yama Oba has previously sponsored kits like jerseys, shoes, etc. for a Myanmar National League football club. Currently, we are a co-sponsor of MNL. We wish to help develop Myanmar's football sport. Um, how can Myanmar Oba create, help create a locally homegrown Aung La Ansang, like another superstar? Um, the answer will be Myanmar Oba cannot directly scout for and develop talent, but if someone with potential comes along, we'll be happy to provide support. And the third question is, how much money have we put into sports? Um, Myanmar Oba is one of the biggest sponsors for football, and also routinely sponsors other sports as well. Why do we sponsor them, and what benefits do we get out of sponsorships as businesses? Well, sports competitions allow athletes to compete and showcase their talent. Fans find out about athletes, follow them, support them. That's how sports become more popular and more developed. Competition organizers and leagues need funds to operate their competitions. Sports is not a one-person game. Teamwork is very important. Everyone needs to be united and working towards a common goal. Nyama Oba, in helping to achieve that goal, also gains from increased brand awareness as sports fans appreciate what we've done. The bigger the personality, like Alna Ansang, and the, the sport, the bigger the impact is. Um, have we supported any sports programs in rural communities? Um, Yama Oba is, has a huge presence in the agricultural market. Um, we've donated something like you know, 80, 85 schools in the rural areas. Um, however, these rural areas uh, do not request sport-related support. Usually, they request support for building water wells, schools, etc. Uh, that I think are more higher priorities to their needs. Uh, Myanmar Oba will definitely consider to support sport-related facilities if and when requested. Uh, we do sponsor football competitions during traditional festivals by providing prizes as well as sport kits. What other support do we think these local communities need to establish clubs and gyms? 
Um, first, I will say they need to develop awareness and visions for requiring sport clubs in the first place in their areas. Why does the one championship have great attendance and high ticket sales while other national sports are suffering? Why from a sports sponsor's view is this happening? Um, my answer will be the one championship is successful because a Myanmar professional athlete is really successful in that league. Um, fans want to root for their own local hero. That's understandable. Um, when their local clubs or professional athletes are not successful, they lose interest. For example, 50 years ago, uh, the Myanmar audience support for football was uh, truly amazing. It was a national sport back then. Um, so uh, success uh, begets uh, um, you know, more fans and uh, ticket sales. The last question is, what do you think will motivate foreign businesses to invest in local clubs here in Myanmar? Um, well, uh, high numbers of fans need to tune in regularly. Only then will there be adequate returns on investment. Therefore, sport clubs need to be more competitive and perform better so that the audience will be more interested in broadcasts you know, um, web pages, social media around these uh, sport competitions. And then foreign businesses will be more interested in investing into these clubs. Thank you. Hi guys, Angla Ansang here. I'm very thankful and honored to be an inspiration to a lot of the young athletes in Myanmar. My words of advice, uh, number one, invest in yourself. Uh, make yourself a very uh, expensive commodity. Invest time, energy, and all the resources that you have. And uh, the, the next advice is work hard towards your goals. Set tangible benchmarks so you can reach your goals. And finally, be patient. Um, success doesn't come overnight, so be patient and strive. Work hard towards your goals. And finally, shout out to Tencent, Nemo, and Tim of Year 11, and all the students at Network International School. Cheers, guys.